Hi, South Point friends and family. This is day number two in our devotional series called Finding Peace in Uncertainty. Now, yesterday we talked a little bit about the de definition of the word peace and how our unfair expectations can keep us from the very peace that we're searching for. Now, if you happen to miss that, you can go on our Facebook page or to our YouTube channel and catch up. What I'd like to do today is talk about how you and I and we can have peace of mind even in the midst of such uncertainty. The reason this is so important is something that you already know, and it's this, how we think will always lead to how we act. Our thoughts will drive our behaviors, and this is something that all of us have personally experienced. As I've gone through life, I've discovered that one of God's greatest gifts to you and to me can also be one of our biggest weaknesses. It's the gift of imagination. How we use our imagination can lead to great good. Think about all the good and inventions and creations like the iPhone or Reese's peanut butter cups. Mm. But it can also lead to harm and evil. Think of crime and atrocities such as the Holocaust. Both the good and the bad started with a thought. And in an uncertain season like we're in today, our imagination can often be a troublesome enemy. And here's why. Our natural bent is not to imagine this season as temporary or as an opportunity or that in the midst of bad, good can come out of it. No, our natural response is to allow worry and fear to drive our imagination to the dark regions, to see this season as an immovable obstacle and that it's permanent and that what's awaiting us at the end of the dark tunnel is nothing but tragedy. So how we manage our imaginations during the season is critical because it will lead to our daily actions. And that's why the Bible reminds us that we need to guard our thoughts. In Romans 8, 6, it says this, it jogs our memory by telling us this truth. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. I mean, did you catch that? When we let our natural mind take over, it leads to thought and actions that don't help us. But when we allow God to be a part of our thought process, we end up with life and peace. And this leaves you and I asking, how do we not let our imaginations run wild with the bad? How can you and I steer our imaginations and thoughts towards something that is good and true and right? And the answer is found in the age old saying that we've all heard a hundred times, garbage in, garbage out. How we use our imagination is directly tied to the input we allow in our lives. If you and I allow the negative input of social media and the news to drive our imagination, I think we all know where that leads. But if we allow God to give input into our lives during this period of uncertainty, it can lead to goodness and to the peace. So today, I'd like to give us two practical things that we can do to help us have peace of mind. One is to memorize the scripture so that whenever you sense your imagination or your thoughts heading towards negativity, you can repeat this verse and kind of steer your thoughts and make a U-turn. Maybe memorizing a verse like Isaiah 41.10 that says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Maybe the second thing we can do is to thank God for something good in our lives. When we pick something specific to be grateful for, it takes our view off the imaginary future that hasn't happened, and it causes us to focus on the present good. Lastly, fearful thoughts are normal in a time like this. However, we don't have to let negative thoughts become a prison of what ifs. We can choose to redirect our imagination and our thinking towards God and experience the kind of peace that only He can give us. As I'd close, I'd like to share a quote from Pastor Andy Stanley. He says this, when the story of COVID-19 is just a story we tell, let's make sure our stories are stories worth telling. Now may God's grace and peace be with you today. And don't forget, you matter deeply to God.